saw uh, one of my sons, Calvin, some time ago. Because I go and I watch his tablet. And I go back through his videos, parents, to make sure that my children are not watching anything they have no business watching. So I was watching, looking at what my, my son Calvin was watching. And I, I asked him, I said, son, uh, why are you watching, watching uh, babies falling? I don't, I don't understand why, why you're watching babies falling. It, it, was, it, was, it was videos of, of babies taking a couple steps and falling. Taking a couple steps and fall, taking a couple steps and fall, and he said, "Daddy, this isn't this isn't a video of, of babies falling. This is a video of babies learning how to walk. Lean in, child of God. Sometimes the process of you learning how to walk and be stronger had to involve you falling. Okay, all right. Holy Ghost, help me preach right along in here." Here's the reality, my brother and my, my sister, that every time you get back up, you got up with a lesson of how to walk just a little bit better. I wish I had some help in here. Every time God bless you to get back up, you got back up with a lesson of how not to fall again the next time. Every time you got back up, you got back stronger than when you fell down in the first place. That's why, yes, your life may fall sometimes symbolically, but what you got to do is still give God thanks that when you fell down, you did not stay down. And that when God helped you get back up, you didn't get back up the same way. You got back up stronger. You got back up better. You got back up praying better. You got back up with more faith. You got back up with more hope. You got back up with more joy because it looked like you were falling. But what God was doing was sending you through a process of learning how to walk.